On Tuesday at July 9, Days of Our Lives delivered intense drama. Eric Brady cancelled his move to Paris after discovering he's the father of Nicole's son, Jude. Nicole demanded a divorce from E.J. DiMera, taking off her wedding ring. Gabby Hernandez DiMera revealed Jude's paternity at a press conference, causing turmoil among the DiMeras. E.J., hiding the truth about Jude's DNA test, faced Nicole's wrath, leading to her decision to end their marriage. Meanwhile, Stefan DiMera clashed with Gabby, feeling betrayed by her public disclosure. Teresa Donovan, seeking a fresh start, dealt with Brady Black's accusations and supported their son Tate's summer plans. At the DiMera mansion, Holly Jonas grappled with EJ's deception, while Stefan and EJ's relationship strained further. As tensions soared, the episodes set the stage for future conflicts and resolutions, with Eric focusing on building a relationship with Jude amidst the unfolding chaos. Welcome to a pastime shows, where the drama unfolds and the stories captivate. Join us as we delve into the intriguing world of A Days of Our Lives, revealing the untold tales and hidden truths behind the headlines. Tuesday, July 9th Recap for Days of Our Lives, Eric cancels move to Paris, Nicole demands divorce, and she takes off her wedding ring. The spoilers for Tuesday, July 9's episode of Days of Our Lives indicate that Gabby Hernandez de Mera supported E.J. de Mera's public expose on the grounds that Eric Brady had a right to hear Jude Brady's true story. Gabby emphasized that he received what was really his, despite Stefan de Mera's argument that he truly simply wanted to get even with E.J. Gabby wanted to go home and put this behind her, but Stefan claimed they couldn't since Gabby had abandoned him to face with the consequences of her actions. Nicole DiMera gave an explanation of the press conference narrative and disclosed how Gabby had disclosed Jude's paternity while at the airport. Eric also discovered that EJ remained silent after discovering that Sloan Peterson had manipulated all of the DNA test findings. Before revealing that EJ believed they would get back together if they knew Eric was the father, Nicole gave Jude over for a touching father-son reunion. Eric postponed his move and made plans to remain in Salem after realizing he couldn't accept that job in Paris at this time. Holly Jonas heard some of EJ's rage on Tuesday's episode of Days at the D. Mara House and wondered what was going on. After EJ revealed all of the controversy around his paternity, Holly admitted to being perplexed. A part of Holly blamed EJ for the suffering he had caused Eric and Nicole, but she also couldn't hold him accountable because she had been desperate enough to tell such a falsehood. At one point, Stefan and EJ got back together, and while Stefan tried to explain that he didn't mean for all of this to happen, EJ maintained that the harm had already been done and was still vindictive. EJ hoped they could discuss things over when Nicole got home later. Rather, Nicole said she wanted a divorce and took off her wedding band set. When Eric and Gabby returned to the town square, he saw Gabby and complimented her for acting morally. Gabby looked pleased with herself and acknowledged that she owed Eric one because she had withheld Rachel Black's bone marrow until she had an immunity arrangement. Teresa Donovan and Brady Black then waited for Tate Black at the townhouse on Tuesday's episode of Days of Our Lives. Teresa vented about Brady attempting to persuade Alex Kiriakis that she was a gold digger. Brady was honest about his hypothesis about the briefcase in Greece, but he later apologized for speculating because Teresa had suddenly declared herself to be a morally upright woman. Tate gave Aaron Green his driver's license in the park to use as identification for the lacrosse camp. He claimed to have reported his loss to the DMV, who then sent a replacement. Tate and Aaron were momentarily alarmed when Alex appeared on Tuesday's episode of Days and asserted that he knew what the lads were up to. Luckily, Alex mistook Tate's fake ID for an ID scam, thus it turned out to be a false alarm. Alex promised not to share the news because he'd had many of those in his younger days. Tate told Brady and Teresa they didn't need to transport him to the airport after he returned to the townhouse. Teresa insisted 
but the lawyers required the prenup to be signed immediately, so Alex called her home to get her signature. After all, Brady allowed Aaron to drive Tate, so everything lined up for Aaron to make his trip to New York, leaving Tate and Holly eager to start planning their summer together. On Tuesday's episode of Days, back at the townhouse, Brady was taken aback when Eric appeared with Jude, as he was expected to be traveling to Paris. Brady seemed perplexed when Eric stated that he believed Brady would want to meet his nephew. Stay tuned for our predictions regarding Nicole's impending departure and updates on how it will impact things. According to spoilers for Days of Our Lives, Eric will continue to build his relationship with Jude and plan for a new chapter. Wednesday, a July 10 spoilers for Days of Our Lives, Chad persuades Jack to find Abigail's casket, Leo and Carrie get hot. Days of Our Lives spoilers for Wednesday, July 10 indicate that Teresa Donovan and Alex Kiriakis will hear Maggie Kiriakis' suggestion. Maggie thinks Victor Kiriakis would also like to see some family togetherness, therefore she would love to see that happen. Consequently, it appears that Maggie will accept Bonnie Kiriaki's suggestion for a double wedding. Teresa and Alex's ceremony can be easily added to the one that Xander Cook and Sarah Horton are already planning for a certain date that is coming up. Naturally, that arrangement needs to be approved by Teresa and Alex first. The same is true for Sarah and Xander, but according to previews for days, Maggie will win everyone over in the end. Xander will be Justin Kiriaki's confidant in the interim. Fans of Days of Our Lives are aware that Alex has been incredibly harsh ever since learning that he is purportedly Victor's biological son. Despite all the years Justin served as his father, Alex instantly began to treat him with disdain. Alex also started referring to him as Justin instead of a dad, and continuously pulling the You're Not My Real Father card. Though he hasn't shown it much, Justin has been hurt more than he has indicated by Alex's actions. According to spoilers for days, Justin will express with Xander how awful this entire situation has been and let him vent some difficult emotions. Since Teresa consented to sign a prenuptial agreement, it is also appropriate to discuss it. It looks like Alex will provide all the required documentation, but will he let Teresa to sign the document? Leo Stark, on the other hand, is going to enjoy the shirtless view and meet a new hottie named Carrie. Leo and Carrie appear to be going to become heated in Leo's suite unless something makes them break hard. He will have to make some explanations with Chad DeMera. Jack Devereaux will undoubtedly become enraged and demand an explanation for Chad's request to have Abigail DeMera's remains unearthed. Days of Our Lives spoilers indicate that Jack will be returning to Salem on Wednesday, providing him with an opportunity to confront Chad about his intentions. It looks like Chad will have to be honest about Clyde Weston's account of Abby's survival and the footage of the mysterious woman that has raised additional concerns. Jack will be informed by Chad about the complex circumstances and then he will demand that the only way to determine whether Abigail's body is actually inside is to unearth her casket. Days of Our Live spoilers indicate that Jack and Chad will proceed with the exhumation, setting the stage for a shocking reveal that could involve Abigail's missing body. Spoilers for Days of Our Lives, Maggie Wants a Double Wedding and Peace According to spoilers for Days of Our Lives, Maggie Horton Kiriakis believes her family is disintegrating. Alex Kiriakis, the head of Titan Industries, the family business, is at odds with anyone who could have a different idea about how to operate it. In contrast, Xander Cook makes an effort to get along with the relative CEO. But in the end, Xander and Alex are not friends. Teresa Donovan and Sarah Horton, meantime, are hoping that their men will declare a truce. In addition, the women intend to wed into the family. Will Alex and Teresa accept a double wedding and reach out to each other then? Would Xander and Sarah reconsider a dual ceremony in order to appease the red-headed matriarch? Plus, on the NBC Peacock exclusive, a surprise visitor can completely turn both couples' lives around.
an idea comes to Maggie Horton Kiriakis. According to spoilers on Days of Our Lives, Maggie Horton Kiriakis is fed up with her family members' rivalry. She has made an effort to reconcile with Alex Kiriakis and is gradually making progress with the heir. However, the handsome man is brash and believes he understands how to operate Titan Industries the best. In addition, he recently asked Teresa Donovan to marry him on Days of Our Lives. She replied yes, of course. Maggie's home will thus now be the site of not one, but two weddings. Sarah Horton, her daughter, and Xander Cook intend to get married once more. It works the third time, right? Maggie Horton suggests a plan for Alex and his future bride to reunite the Kiriakis family this week on Days of Our Lives. Maggie inquires with Teresa and her stepson slash stepnephew whether they would be open to having a double wedding with her daughter and fiancé. Will Maggie's recommendation be carried out this summer? Xander and Sarah with Alex and Teresa in matrimonial bliss? Fans of Days of Our Lives are aware that a double wedding is sure to go badly for everyone involved. In general, weddings can be somewhat chaotic. Take a look at Maggie Horton Kiriakis and Constantine Meliuni's recent staged nuptials. Maggie, though, is optimistic about her family's future. Xander and Sarah, though, might require additional persuasion. Teresa and Alex may already experience their wedding day together, as proposed by Bonnie Kiriakis. If Alex and Teresa accept the plan on Days of Our Lives, perhaps Maggie can convince her daughter and Dandy Xander. However, Maggie's prospects of convincing the happy couple to follow her plan are high. Maggie Horton Kiriakis may be accepted by both couples this week on Days of Our Lives. Teresa secretly planned with the Greek man to replace Xander as Victor Kiriakis' heir apparent in Alex. She has already been harassed by Brady Black for knowing that Alex was the heir prior to their sexual encounter. Teresa, however, denied glancing through Victor's briefcase. Either way, Maggie might get her desire. Everything could change with an unexpected visitor. According to spoilers for Days of Our Lives, Maggie's dream of a calm and joyous double wedding might not turn out to be so serene and cheerful after all. Fiona Cook, Xander's mother, may reveal that her son, not Alex, is the rightful heir. However, Teresa Donovan believes that she prevented Sarah from inviting her future mother-in-law to the nuptials. But leave it to Bonnie, with thanks to Teresa, to locate Fiona's invitation in the trash and mail it herself. Fans of Days of Our Lives think that if Fiona makes an appearance, she will want her son to understand his proper role in the Kiriakis family. Maggie Horton Kiriakis is going to get a huge surprise, just like everyone else. When the facts are revealed, will Alex wed Teresa? Will Xander and Sarah tie the knot this summer? Eventually, there will be a significant upheaval in Maggie's household on days of our lives. For the most recent casting updates and spoilers for days, follow here. Days of Our Lives, Doug Funeral Scoop, Cheaters and Twists, Abby Clone Leak. Fans of Days of Our Lives should anticipate significant story twists and turns in the next episodes. According to leaked information, Xander Cook, Sarah Horton, Teresa Donovan, and Alex Kiriakis are all involved in a double wedding. Maggie Horton Kiriakis will be instrumental in persuading Teresa and Sarah to embrace the concept. Unexpectedly, Fiona Cook, Xander's mother, may interfere with the ceremony. Bill Hayes, played by Doug Williams, is the subject of tragic news. And information about his funeral and the exit tale that followed comes to light. A few characters might remain in Salem even following Doug's final days of our lives episode. A soap opera within a soap opera will also be explored by the program, starring Kate Roberts and Abe Carver. Leo Stark is the head writer for the soap opera they are making. A return appearance by Nancy Wesley is part of this story. There is an intriguing hint of a cheating scandal involving an unexpected character. 
Additionally, the perpetrator belongs to the younger cast of characters. Finally, fans are looking forward to Annalyn McCord's portrayal of Abigail Devereaux's comeback. Thus, this heightens the story's suspense even more. It's unclear, though, if McCord is playing Abigail or a startling double. Get all of your daily news and spoilers for Days of Our Lives here, and check back often for updates on the whereabouts of your favorite characters. Before breaking up with EJ, Nicole reunites Eric with his son, and Stefan lashes out at Gabby. On this episode of Days of Our Lives, Tate deceives his parents, EJ confesses to Holly, Stefan can't get over what Gabby did, and Eric's dream comes true. Tate leaves for lacrosse camp before Teresa arrives at the townhouse. Brady tells her Tate isn't there after telling her he just got back from picking Eric up from the airport. That he's with Holly makes Teresa anxious. Tate will soon be a thousand miles away from Holly, Brady promises her. She then confronts Brady for implying to Alex that she is utilizing him in exchange for his money. Brady acknowledges that he believes she could have discovered Alex was Victor's heir prior to their sexual encounter. Tate goes to the park with Aaron. In case his ID is questioned in camp, he hands over his license to him. Alex appears out of nowhere, out for a run. He is aware of their activities since he heard them. With a glass in the D-Mara living room, an irate EJ swears revenge on the painting of his father. Holly walks in, perplexed as to why he is so irate. EJ calms down and tells his stepdaughter that Jude is Eric's son, as disclosed by Gabby. Holly apologizes to him for her feelings. EJ says, quite evenly, that her sympathy is misguided. He was aware already. Stefan questions Gobby's disclosure of EJ's Jude's secret in the square. She claims she was unable to endure in prison and be separated from her child for Eric. Stefan retorts that she was only trying to get even with EJ. Nicole stops Eric from boarding the aircraft at the airport. She reveals to him that he is Jude's dad. She summarizes Gobby's statements from the press conference, saying, he's our son, before getting Jude out of his stroller. As she gives him to Eric, the infant waves his arms and smiles. Eric gives his son a head kiss while tears stream down his face. Teresa displays suitable contempt over Brady's allegation at the townhouse. She has changed since then. She wants to be a morally upright person that her son can look up to. He apologizes and says she wouldn't have consented to sign the prenuptial agreement if she was just want Alex's money. Tate begs Alex not to tell his mother anything at the park. Alex never would. He had also once had fictitious identification. Tate was merely hooking up his friend before heading out for the summer, as far as he knew. But he cautions Aaron about driving after drinking. While the boys panic over the bullet they just avoided, Alex keeps running. Aaron receives his travel ticket from Tate. Tate will get to spend his summer with Holly because Aaron will be in New York in a few hours. Stefan brings up the fact that Gabby might have spoken to Eric in private about Jude in the square. Rather, she degraded EJ in public because she despises him for what he did to her. She despises EJ, naturally. Gabby says. She was imprisoned by him and had to live in constant fear there. She worried that she wouldn't see Stefan or Ariana again while she was held in solitary confinement for weeks. She would have been left to rot for the rest of her life if it had been up to EJ. EJ was given what was due. Can they simply forget about this and head home? No, baby, is Stefan's reply. We are unable to. EJ tells Holly at the mansion that he withheld Jude's information because of concern that Nicole might get back together with Eric. Holly is furious with EJ and is relieved that Eric has Jude back. She is aware of the desperation that can lead to the only option being to lie. EJ appreciates her saying that. Following her departure, EJ gives Stefano's photo a fleeting smile. 
Eric admits he can't take the job in Paris right now while holding Jude at the airport. Nicole wasn't expecting him to. Eric has no idea what EJ is going through at this moment. With clenched teeth, I wouldn't feel as sorry for EJ, she explains. Eric ruminates on what EJ did afterwards. Nicole says he didn't tell anyone because he thought they would get back together. Eric looks at you both deeply and says, let's get out of here. Stefan confesses his love for Gabby on the square, although he is also very angry at the moment. Though he doesn't support EJ, he made a vow to remain silent in return for her freedom. He believed that at last they might all live in harmony, but now he must get ready for a full-scale conflict. He turns to leave her behind. In the park, Holly runs into Aaron. He tells her Tate should be there soon and that he is fetching his luggage, air quotes. He tells her that nothing will go wrong for them. Tate tries to escape Brady as he drives him to the airport after they return to the townhouse. Teresa is adamant that they both accept him. But then she gets a call from Alex, asking her to come back to the mansion so they can sign the prenuptial agreement. She tells Tate before she leaves that she understands this isn't the summer he had in mind, but she's only thinking about what's best for him. She adores him. Tate lets out a sigh of relief as they embrace. In the square, Eric pushes Jude's stroller by Gabby. He gives her credit for her efforts. Even though Stefan is mad with her, she's proud of herself and glad for him. At the De Mera estate, EJ pours himself a drink while reflecting over Nicole's departure. Moving slowly in, Stefan asks EJ to pour him a drink. EJ also offers to add arsenic to it. Shall he stab him in the back instead? Gabby has other plans, but Stefan tells EJ he had every intention of keeping his secret to himself until death. It's too late, according to EJ. His marriage was lost to him forever. Nicole comes back. Teresa finds out that Alex saw Tate earlier when she arrives at the Karaki's mansion. Tate didn't inform her, which seemed strange to her. Aaron is accompanied to the airport by Holly and Tate. Tate grinningly looks at Holly as Aaron leaves for his trip. Where would you like to spend the remaining summer months? Gabby considers revealing EJ at the press conference while she's in the square. She takes a sip of champagne and smiles. Eric and Jude arrive at the townhouse. Bewildered, Brady questions his return. Eric smiles. I assumed you wanted to meet your nephew. Nicole tells an optimistic EJ that she is only there to collect her belongings after Stefan leaves them alone at the mansion. She removes her wedding band. Divorce is what I want. Subsequently, on Days of Our Lives, Jack might foil Chad's desperate scheme after Justin confides in Xander. Stobby, is it over? In an exclusive for Days of Our Lives, Sherry Jimenez reveals some important details about Gabby and Stefan. Giving credit where credit is due, Gabby didn't hesitate to reveal Jude's true father to Nicole after all these months of Jude's paternity being kept a secret on Days of Our Lives. Since everyone is now aware that Eric is Jude's father, Nicole and EJ can go on. The revelation was grandiose, widely disorganized, and utterly Gabby. However, in the process, Gabby disregarded her own husband, making him break his word to EJ and making him a target. Gabby could have revealed the truth in a lot of other ways, but did she really need to turn on her spouse in the process? We began to wonder what had happened to Gabby to influence her decision to take this path. Some speculated that she might have sought to harm Stefan after learning of his extramarital romance with Ava. However, it turns out that Gabby suffered significantly more damage from her imprisonment after being wrongfully accused of Lee's murder than she may have initially admitted, as she and her husband got into a heated argument during the press conference. Gabby emerged hurt and seeking retribution. She had spent months at a period in solitary confinement, had been attacked by Clyde's thugs, 
and had no idea if she would ever see her daughter again or if E.J. would leave her to languish in prison. Furthermore, despite her insistence that her incarceration had strengthened her resolve to bring her kid back to his father, a vengeful Stefan, who is unwilling to forgive his wife, forced her to acknowledge that she had also done it to harm E.J. The crucial query is, will Estabi finally fall apart after all these months of waiting for them to be back together? Sherry Jimenez tells Soaps.com that Gabi's focus after prison is on two things, regardless of her reason for throwing EJ to the wolves in the most dramatic way and putting Stefan in an unwinnable situation. Family comes first, as evidenced by her hasty trip to Arizona to see Ariana, and then she wants to reunite with the love of her life. The strength of Gabby and Stefan's love has been one of the most lovely aspects of this character. We'll see how the repercussions plays out, but even if they have a few hiccups, don't expect Gabby to dump her husband or even the revelation of his affair with Ava to end their relationship. Because, as Jimenez says, there is a great deal of affection between the two. She remarks, Brandon Barish is such a wonderful actor and really helps me become a better actor. Every moment we've been together has been amazing, and the love is palpable. We just collaborate incredibly well, she says. I'm excited to see how that plays out on film. I can't wait to witness the relationship. It's always so lovely when we get our scenes, especially in the first few episodes. It's really lovely. The love they have for one another is truly evident to you, or at least I hope it is, since that's what I experienced. Okay, so whatever the reason behind Gobby's actions in revealing EJ, love is abundant. Furthermore, we guess that neither Gabby nor Stefan have any illusions about their spouse. Over the years, they have both committed a great deal of terrible acts and made a great deal of blunders. They may certainly forgive one another for anything that they have done. If not, then what? It makes perfect sense to stick together. Stefan and Gabby are in EJ's crosshairs as he seeks his retribution. Since EJ has nothing left to lose, a split now may be disastrous. It will need a united front to stop his impending rampage. Stefan will need to get over his anger with Gabby quickly since, if Gabby is still unaware of Ava, EJ's retaliation against them might happen very soon. And in order for Stabi to live, they must cling to their love. July 10th Spoilers for Days of Our Lives Chad Destroys Jack Will Abigail's true story come to light? According to Wednesday, July 10th spoilers for Days of Our Lives, Jack finds himself in a difficult situation when he discovers what his son-in-law Chad truly desires from him. I say, open. Chad has determined that uncovering Abigail's grave to see whether she is, you know, and it is the only way to confirm whether or not she is still alive. Chad is Abigail's spouse but for some reason he isn't allowed to do it. Jack must give him permission. It's clear that Jack is not happy about the request. Especially after finding out that Clyde, Abigail's killer, was the one who initially spread the word about this entire situation. Gain and loss. Everyone is aware that Alex is not the long-lost son of Victor. Xander is. For this reason, when Justin tears to Xander about how much he misses Alex and how devastated he is about the development, it is especially ironic. Unfortunately, Alex is too foolish to share those sentiments. And when he has to go ask Justin for forgiveness, how much fun will that be? Increase your laughing by two. Sarah and Xander are getting hitched. Teresa and Alex are engaged. Maggie says, you know what would be enjoyable and bring the family together? Two weddings. There would be a lot of love, harmony, and forgotten grudges in the room. How could something go wrong? Why, Xander and Alex are already virtually brothers. The greatest man. Leo's ego has been sufficiently inflated by his recent tirade against his mother and Marlena's admission that he is her favorite patient to allow him to resume acting inappropriately toward any man he feels like, regardless of whether he is gay, 
straight, spoken for, uninterested, or way, way out of his league. Have they not heard? Leo believed that he should receive affection from anybody he desires. Is Stefan and EJ going to go to war on the July 9th days of our lives? EJ takes it personally and holds Stefan accountable for Gobby's behavior. In addition, Salem's teenagers are at large. On the July 9th episode of Days of Our Lives, Gabby made it known that he was not Jude's real father. This made EJ very unhappy. He held Stefan responsible, saying he would protect the information until the end of his life. However, now that he has nothing left to lose, EJ might turn into a loose cannon and declare complete war on his brother. Additionally, Tate and Holly's scheme with Aaron came to fruition after nearly collapsing. Earth is going to get scorched for EJ. EJ hasn't quite lost everything, save from his work, as Gabby developed a conscience and declared that Eric ought to be aware that he is Jude's biological father. When Holly came in on EJ, he screamed threats into the ether and raged. She unexpectedly grasped his reasoning when he gave her an explanation of what had transpired and the reason he had remained silent about not being the baby's biological father. However, this did not lessen his rage towards Stefan, who once more vowed fervently that he wished to keep the information private but was unable to contain Gabby. And now EJ has lost Nicole, his wife, as well as the child. I've always known that trusting any member of my family would be a risky enterprise, he said Stefan. Nevertheless, I disregarded my gut and struck a bargain with you. I allowed your wife to be free by letting that vile Melinda Trask walk. EJ vows never to make the same mistake twice. In the end, he made an attempt to justify his behavior to Nicole, but she was uninterested in hearing it, so he returned her wedding band and filed for divorce. EJ could become incredibly nasty, like a wounded animal, and tear down anyone who got in his way, especially Gabby and Stefan. He will be illogical and erratic, and if he manages to hang on to his position as district attorney, he may be able to use it as leverage to exact revenge on his sister-in-law and brother-in-law. EJ's win-at-all-costs mentality and brutality are well known, so it appears that Salem will be the epicenter of his wrath. The summer adventure of Holly and Tate begins. Tate almost let his friend Aaron go to lacrosse camp in his place, but he stopped short of doing so after almost getting bagged by Alex and having his mother, Teresa, wreck everything. In order to spend some much-needed time with Holly, he will remain hidden someplace in Salem. There are a few possible outcomes for this, they'll be discovered and the game will be over before it ever starts. However, that isn't enjoyable. They'll be moving stealthily and almost getting caught a few times. However, that is limited in scope. Alternatively, the two can become entangled in a hazardous situation and might need to flee in order to avoid being harmed. We're crossing our fingers that the present day's teen scene ventures into danger and excitement because that last choice seems to be the most fascinating. For more of the latest updates and behind-the-scenes secrets from Days of Our Lives, make sure to hit subscribe and ring that bell. Stay in the know with every new release.